Neville Longbottom is perhaps one of the most popular side characters from the Harry Potter franchise, and not just because his actor looks like this. And since he's appeared in seven books and eight films to date, there are a lot of secrets and trivia about him that you might not be aware of. So here are five things that you may not know about Neville Longbottom. And if you enjoy this video, be sure to hit the subscribe button and click the bell to be notified when we upload fresh content. Now perhaps the most talked about aspect of Neville's character is the fact that if you look at the information that is given to us in both the books and the movies, it would appear that Harry Potter is not the only person who could fit the prophecy. The prophecy, as it is written, says that the one who would defeat Voldemort would be born to parents who have defied him three times and would be born sometime near the end of July. Now, Harry Potter's birthday is July 30th, so the tail end of the seventh month of the year. Neville's, however, is July 29th, so it fits the same criteria. And the whole parents thing? Well, Neville's mom and dad were not only Aurors, but also members of the Order of the Phoenix, the group formed to stop he who shall not be named. So it's safe to assume that they probably defied him, possibly more than the required three times. So who really knows? Maybe if Harry had died or failed in his quest to stop Voldemort, they could have had a backup. And when I said died, I mean like actually died, not like, you know what I'm talking about. Neville's actor, Matthew Lewis, may look like this today, but when he first appeared in the first film in the series, he looked like this. Looking very similar to his character's descriptions in the book, he was short and chubby and overall appeared as someone who would typically be bullied in school. Now, as hard as it might be to believe today, I actually sort of fit that description myself, so I kind of know what it was like for him. <laughs> uh, yeah. However, as Lewis got older, he began to thin out. In fact, he became so thin so quickly that the filmmakers asked him to wear a fat suit to plumpen himself back up. Yeah, you heard me correctly. For a couple of films, Lewis wore a prosthetic suit under his clothes that gave him back some of his character's trademark roundness. Once director David Yates was brought on board, however, the fat suit was phased out and Lewis was able to appear as he naturally is. Now Longbottom is a very interesting last name. It sounds a little bit like something out of Middle Earth, actually. And that's probably because there are Longbottoms in the Lord of the Rings. They're one of the Hobbit families. However, that's not where Rowling got the name. Longbottom is actually a family name that exists around Bristol, a town where author J.K. Rowling spent a good part of her childhood. And it's also a name that's based off of topographical traits, referring to someone who lives in a valley or dell. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is easily the most boring fact I'm going to include on this list, I swear. At the end of Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2, it is heavily implied that there is something brewing between Neville and the ever quirky Luna Lovegood. However, it didn't apparently last that long. In fact, in the official extended canon, it is revealed that Neville married Hannah Abbott, with whom he lived above the Leaky Cauldron as she worked as the matron there. Luna would actually go on to marry Rolf Scamander, the grandson of Newt Scamander of Fantastic Beast fame. So there you go, a little bonus bit of trivia. Still though, they would have admittedly made a pretty cute cover. Now this right here is perhaps the weirdest bit of trivia in the entire video. Did you know that Neville Longbottom had a hand in returning Queen Elizabeth II's stolen handbag? For the Queen's 80th birthday, a series of skits were created in celebration of children's literature, the main attraction of which was entitled The Queen's Handbag, which saw the Queen have her handbag stolen by an unknown thief. And at one point, characters from the Harry Potter books appear and help aid in finding it. Harry and Ron try using magic to summon it up, but instead they just wind up pulling together a whole bunch of random people's bags, including one that belonged to Neville Longbottom's grandmother, which you know is gonna be a great time because she's portrayed as such a lovely person. Ron actually attempts to take a look inside the bag, but gets his finger caught in a mousetrap. Neville sees this, laughs, and simply explains that it was put there as a bit of a joke meant for his grandfather. Now the canon status of this skit is in question, mainly because of some of the inconsistencies that it introduces that makes it not quite fit in with the rest of the stories. For instance, it takes place in 2006, which doesn't make sense since the books are in the 90s. But it's an interesting little side story that honestly not a lot of people around the world have even heard about. So the next time that you're talking to your friends who are huge Harry Potter nerds, you can tell them about it and impress them with your knowledge. Or not, you know, because they might already know about it, honestly. Kinda doubt it though. Are you a fan of Neville Longbottom? And is it just because he looks like this? Come on now, be honest, and let me know down in the comments below. And if you're watching this on Facebook, click the link to be taken to our YouTube channel for more videos like this one. And thanks for watching.